Hey guys, welcome to Mama Schmoo's Reviews. I'm doing the theme of Tangled with my three-year-old daughter and it's really fun and I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing just to give you guys some inspiration for people that might be um, trying to homeschool their preschooler. So I just made a little folder, put a little label on called Tangled and as if you can see, this is some of the stuff that we came up with. What you can do is cut this out, but I wanted to keep it this way. Um, it's from 123homeschoolforme.com. This website right here is amazing. She has taken out so much time and made a lot of curriculum for preschoolers and kindergartners. And this is called a number clip and you have clothespins and you clip the clothespins on the number of apples or a castle or or anything that you find on here. Now what I chose to do is I have a bag of numbers and my daughter picks out the numbers and she matches them to the card here. Or you could use clothespins. You could basically use any like math manipulatives. So this was fun. I just laminated this. Um, I am doing trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding from Proverbs 3 5. I got this from coloring pages by Mr. Adron.com. So this was like something I found on Pinterest. But we're doing the letter T for Tangled. So this was the um this was the first verse of the week that we're gonna be doing. And then also from the same um homeschool one two three from me.com they have these ABC um, little cards that I laminated, and this was for T. Um, so we're doing the letter T. This was the same exact scripture as it is here. And this is great. There is a scripture for every single letter in the alphabet, and I love it. So it's like basically whatever theme you're on, you could incorporate a scripture verse for it. Memorization. So I'm going to have my daughter color this. Then I found this. Um, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and um, a little devotion I found online. I don't remember the website, but I thought that would be a cool little thing to read to her. This I also got at um, homeschoolforme.com. Um, roll a graph, and you cut this out, and you make a box out of it, and there's a graph that goes alongside with it, and you can um, make a game out of it. It's really cool. And then also... Um, these are little cutting practice things for her to do for cutting her carefully along the lines. Also, I got this from 123 Homeschool for Me, and I love the little characters in there. I thought it was so cute. She loves it. She wants to cut all the time. She's just now learning. So, it had some straight lines and some curved lines, and I have some stickers in the back of my book that I give her every time she finishes something. And that's one project she already did. I'll put some of the videos of her maybe doing some stuff. And then um, this was a pacing activity. It's a, sh a sheet that she already came up with on the website. And um, my daughter just cut these all out. And they told her to place them in specific locations. So it's following directions. And um, I cut these out, the clouds and the sun for her and the grass. So she could have this little tangled tower. And she loved this little project. So that was one thing. And then I have a pouch of like manipulatives and things that we're using for homeschool. Um, and then all of these little things over here for the book. So um, what I did was I put my daughter's name and put um, my daughter's name, let's say Sally is God's princess. So she um, traces that. Then over here, it says a special girl. What did Esther become in Esther 217? So we we're gonna look that up and um, answer the question and connect the dots so that's going to help her um, with counting and we'll do that together I put it in a slip cover so she can do it over and over again and then this is from confessions of a homeschooler I know a lot of people use this so this is something we do every day um, we'll tell the time what time it is and um, she likes to do a little outfit for the day of what she wears and what the temperature is so that's what we do and tomorrow will be Thursday, so she'll trace Thursday, circle Thursday, and do the today's date number, and what's today's number, and this is a little too advanced for her, but this is also from Confessions of a Homeschooler. This one is um, the same that I've been talking about before from Homeschool123. 
Rapunzel pre-writing practice. And this is so cool because look at all these cute characters. And she could do it with her fingers. She could do it with the dry erase marker. Um, I don't do this whole book in one day. So we're just going to work on it for the week. So they give lines to trace. And since we're working on the letter T, she does that for the tower. And um, she learns all of their names. Pascal, Maximus, Rapunzel, Flynn, and Tower. So that's practice writing. And um, I have her name here. <laughs> And I have just a box here that I wanted her to make of what she looks like. I'm going to turn this around here. Um, sorry about the glare. And this is letter tracing. So I um, have your child use their finger. They use Play-Doh or markers. I'll show a picture of her. She did Play-Doh. Um, or um, she could use these little squares that I have available. Um, I have a bunch of little squares and then she fills it up from like a Melissa and Doug pattern thing. Then I um, got this from a Dollar Tree book, Tiana, from one of the Disney princesses. So since it starts with the letter T, I'm incorporating it in this little lesson book. So she thought that was great. She finally got to know this princess's name. She's watched the movie, but we don't know the name. So now we know. And she's um, learning how to write T's. This one I just made up myself. I think she had something like this, but um, I wanted her to draw something and dictate a little story for me to write down for her. I thought that was a little cute. And this is letter and sort. Um, you cut out these apples, which I'll show you right here. So you cut out these apples and um, she puts there for you guys. She cuts out these, I cut out these apples and I laminated them and you just basically put the lowercase and the uppercase and she was matching them and she thought it was great. You could do a lot of other things with these. So I just put it in a sleeve like I said so we could reuse it and then you can make a file folder game with it later on or you can laminate it and make a game but it's really cute. Then I got a little poem off the internet called Up in the Apple Tree. It's really cute. My daughter loves this poem and since we're doing and talking about apples, I put a poem in there for her. This came also from the same website. It's which one's different. And so she has to circle it. Same with this one, which one's different. And then this one I thought was neat. It says build a word. Use letter disc or scrabble tiles to build the following words. Well, I just, I got these from the Dollar Tree a long time ago, so I'm just going to have her like build the word with these on, underneath the actual word right here. So the tower and the horse, I thought that was pretty neat. Or they could actually, if they wanted to, use a dry erase marker and create the letters underneath it. And I wanted to incorporate some math, she's only three and a half, so I mean, nothing too crazy. But I found this on abcmouse.com and I thought it was really neat. <laughs> it's a pig. So I put like these little stamps that I got from Melissa and Doug and made it a little princessy. And what I was going to do with this is teach her about a penny so she could put the penny on there, a nickel, a dime, and a quarter. And I put these all in the pencil case pocket. So everything for her lessons pretty much in this little binder that I have. So we were going to learn about that. I was going to teach her about coins and how much the penny is and nickel, dime, and quarter. And there's um, a little song that I think I, a little poem that I have about penny, nickel, dime, and quarter. You could probably Google. And that helped her learn her, her number, her uh, coins. And then I found this, um, I'm going to do a Dollar Tree haul soon with the preschool workbooks I got for her. And I pulled it out, um, this one I pulled out of it. And it's really like um, pretty hard math for her, I feel, because we don't really do any adding or subtracting yet. She's really young. But I'm going to do this with her counting the stars and counting the shells and putting the numbers down here and like counting with her together. And so she can count all these together, combine them, and um, learn how to add her numbers. So we'll see how that goes. This is definitely a mommy and me type of a activity. 
This one is, um, we're tracing triangles because um, we're doing T for the week. And so she'll trace these triangles. And on um, this one I found at the, in the Dollar Tree book um, for kindergarten readiness, I think. I'll show you guys in another video. So I had Melissa and Doug little pattern blocks, little um, shapes. So I was gonna have her put all the triangles on all of the triangles on the picture and then count them and then she would write the number in there. So I thought that was a fun idea. T for Tangled. And then this is just free writing. She likes to pretend that she's writing or I'll ask her to write a few words and we could do some reading and she could um, color on these little pages in the back. And in the back are all of her little stickers, mermaid stickers for being a, a good girl and just for rewarding her. And I have a few like um, flashcards in the front for like with princesses and gems so she could like do more counting. So that's basically it. And I have um, Melissa and Doug reusable sticker pad, Princess Castles. And if you guys don't already have this, these Melissa and Doug reusable sticker pads, I suggest you get them. They're like probably clearance, like three to four dollars. You could get them probably six, seven dollars, not on sale, but they last forever. And if you see, there's like tons of stickers and tons of scenes. And so she could probably um, stick some of the stickers on some of these like, um, some of these little pages she has on here or create her own little fun play here. And then I have the, these Melissa and Doug stickers. I love Melissa and Doug, as you can tell. Um, so maybe on the like blank pages on the back of the notebook, she could um, use stamps and then color them in with like some coloring pencils. So that's basically it. I wanted to just to do a fun little um, princess theme for her and thought it would be great. And I will show you guys some pictures of um, the things that she did this week. We have a few more days to go, but I thought this was cool. And I wanted to just show you the free resources I got online and I'll link them below for you guys. And anybody could do this. It's super simple and it's really fun. And they have like a lot of um, other themes like Curious George and stuff for boys on there that I'm going to probably do for my son soon. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see any other videos like this in the future um, to give you some inspiration and um, more resources online to create your own unit themes. Thank you so much for watching.